Open the heads, my name is Nahuel Bridge, I am speaking to you from Argentina. In Argentina, yes. In this uh, quick video tutorial we're going to see a new feature that actually are two new features inside Blender that is going to be in the version 2.74, not uh, in this official one, and the next, on the next one this is part of the development trunk. And this is cavity or more like a curvature map and what this does is to darken cer certain areas uh, if the and the areas are if the angle between uh, faces is near or lower from 90 degrees is going to get one color okay the one right here on this side of the ramp it's going to be darkened if the angle is more obtuse like this one okay we're going to have this angle here you see is um, more or less 90 degree but this one is a more obtuse angle wide open angle so this kind of angles are going to be in this other side of the ramp are going to be white so with this information that is going to be directly input in this way as you can see there we can take and put a color, a color ramp among them between them and use them to tweak it. and this is how we control uh, some sort of cavity uh, um, actually curvature map inside cycles this is a shader property so it's been calculated really really fast it's, it's the same like when we use um, vertex paint paint their vertex color is actually the same but it's been calculated much more fast i don't know why but that's the uh, that's uh, it is and what do you use this for well actually i'm going to change the scene i'm going to show you how to set up the scene to do this okay i have this sculpture that i have done a uh, time ago and if I turn on render, you can see in a second, there you go, that it's nice, but it is lacking of detail, it has not much detail. Uh, we usually use tricks like ambient occlusion to do this, but this cavity map is, uh, or curvature map, it's a great way, great way to get this thing that I'm going to show you in a second. If I set pointiness, yes pointiness to color shader in this case I'm going, I am using a diffuse uh, but you can use anything you can see that it's going to become a bit grayish and this is because it has no uh, or almost none uh, really really close angle okay there are no almost no angle near to 90 degrees so this is going to be a really really uh, uh, grayish color S but if we go through a color ramp we can use these nodes to clamp the things a bit so if I bring this weight from here you can see it's going to be whitish but if we crop things a bit more you can start to see how these angles is going to be are going to be a bit more dirty than before and this is the great use of this dirtin uh, geometry Of course, it requires some some tweak to, to to look nice. But if I turn this node off, you can see that there is no detail. And if I turn it on again, you can see those details. Uh, two things to have in mind when you use this: um, and this uh, pointiness works uh, taking into account the difference among um, uh, vertex uh, among sorry among faces. So it's going to work only if the model is the same if the vertex are uh, are, sh are showing are, are welded if we're going to use several objects 
like this uh, hand here okay here is not going to do absolutely anything and this is because you can see here nothing happens and this is because uh, these two objects these two objects uh, their their faces are not uh, showing so there are there is no angle to to, to compute and this this mm, not working so have in mind this, that this pointiness is something that work on the vertex of the angles of the faces and that is another second thing to have in mind you have to have vertices this uh, po uh, pointiness doesn't work does not work on uh, UV or mapping this uh, works painting vertices of the mesh of the mesh if your mesh has really really low poly meshes it, actually the results is not going to be uh, so nice because it has it has not going to ha it's not going to have enough resolution to uh, give you a, a nice uh, dirt uh, map now let's go to the second feature and this sees masking cavity and what is this masking cavity here we have these uh, two objects uh, uh, similar um, to the other one we have obtuse angles and near uh, 19 degrees angles to show you what this is uh, these two meshes are one this is uh, for a convenience uh, way to show you and I am going to use a fill brush fill brush uh, using with the strength of one is going to completely fill our texture with the selected color where do we find at the moment because this may change up to the release where do we find this uh, cavity mask well we go into options and right here below the occlude cool and normal this has these are ways to calculate normals on the projection of the stroke of the brush we have cavity mask and we have this nice curve. First, we're going to do do you do some clicks to see uh, what are the results of this uh, new cavity mask. Nice. We can see that the <coughs> the closer angles are darkening, and the more open angles are uh, more white. Okay. Here happen here happen the same. Let's going to explain briefly what this card does thank you sci-fi to add this because it's awesome awesome está bueno sí está bueno sí hey amigo entonces eh, so um, this uh, y uh, y value is going to set uh, upon or control the masking value the alpha value and the x value of the curve is going to control the cavity value on which is going to act so if you if we see this we can see that the open angles are uh, white are not painted by my black uh, brush and I am painting remember with a black color I'm going to do it with red there you go. are not being painted and that is because here is at zero if we set this side the, the left side to zero we can see I am doing click that nothing happens. If we turn, uh, if we flip the curve, you can see that the cavity it's no longer being, uh, it's no longer being painted. And with it, with, with this, we can do some crazy things like paint everything except cavity or obtuse angles. Maybe we can set the curves to vector. Yes, we can set the curves to vector. Some people doesn't know that bit, but you can set uh, car um, Bessier or smooth curves to uh, vector uh, nodes, and we can get this in in these interesting patterns on the median points among uh, between the open side and the closed side. So to sum up briefly, this side controls the opacity of the cavity okay if I go all to the top it's going to paint on the cavity if I 
go to the bottom, it's not going to paint anything because it's alpha zero. This other side controls the open side of the uh, the, cavi the cavity mesh. It's the, going to be the open angle of the mesh. So we can paint on that way. And how this is so useful? How this this so important? Because I'm going to pin this. I'm going to go back with to the brush menu. This is so important because now I can select, and here is why the curve is so important, a way to paint only a cavity. Or actually not the cavity because I'm painting outside, but the uh, closest angles. And the, and closest angles, yes. And that gives me gave me some sort of interesting controls to, to play with. And to do strange things like this. So I can paint. Or I can change completely what I want to paint. And do some sort of crazy effects. Especially on wrinkles and uh, folded uh, cloth. Or I don't know, flesh or bodies or anything that can be folded to terrain too we can imagine that this could be a, a mountain a really really shagged mountain so thank you to Sergey and Sci-Fi to, to add these two features that are awesome and really really great expected and I hope you understand what I, I just said <laughs> because I'm not speaking English often and happy blending See you soon.